Alex Beer Reviews, back again with another episode of As the Beer Swirls. I am Dan. I am Mike. Dan, uh, those are colors on a Jenny can I haven't seen before, so what are we drinking? That's a sexy, sexy can, my it friend. Is. It is. Uh, I agree. Mike, this beer Tell is me from the it. Genesee Brewing Company, oh. located and headquartered out of Rochester, New York, and this is their Genesee uh -huh. Black. What is that? Whoa, bro. Uh, so this is an 8% ABV malt. Liquor. Oh, boy. What? Okay. Uh, All so, right. so they pen it as a, a, a bold lager with a, a nice crisp. It's a high crisp. gravity lager. Yeah, it's a high gravity lager. They, it's a fucking malt liquor. <laughs> yeah. Uh, basically, it's a so yeah. Fine beer. 8% <laughs> ABV. Uh, there's sort of a weird lot code, mm -hmm. but we won't try to get into it. I believe there's numbers on the bottom of it. Oh, geez, this could be really old. We'll see. The they place we got it from. <laughs> they don't brew this it's anymore. It's kind of shaky. What was this shaky. brewed in 2018? They stopped production yeah. in 19. Uh, so, yeah, dude, it's just a sexy. It sexy. looked good. We hadn't seen the colors before, so yeah. we're like, yeah, let's try it. Oddly enough, from us being in the area, Rochester, New York area, um, this is one Jenny I just, I've never tried. Yeah. But I, I also don't gravitate, high gravitate, towards a lot of malt liquors. I mean, now that I got some fight pony in my fridge, I'm pretty much set. So, hashtag <laughs> proper. <laughs> so, <laughs> hashtag proper glassware. Well, they're Jenny glasses. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, this is an old school Jenny glass. Oh, I love that glass. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so it looks. It's it's a little darker golden. Uh, tons of carbonation bubbles thrown up there. A little bit of a foamy white head on it. Yeah. It's, uh, it looks like a macro beer. Uh, a little bit darker, I would say. Definitely. Yeah, yeah just a little bit darker. So, yeah, it's good way. It looks like a malt liquor. It smells like a malt liquor. Yeah, it does. It's got that, <laughs> like that, that weird funk to it. <laughs> it's super sweet. Just bready you get that you got kind of a sweet caramel it's like a, a, it's like not just sweet bread it's like a sweet loaf of bread yeah and then you get that little corn adjuncty thing on the back yeah end. that that pops out as it settles in yeah it smells like a malt liquor Chris. a little little pb and j in there yeah <sighs> all right cheers find man. out cheers Carbonation is kind of subtle for yeah, me. Yeah, it's not what I thought it was going to be. Yeah, it's malt liquor carbonation. I know. For some reason, I thought there was going to be more carbonation, though. So I've been but drinking, yeah, you're I've right. been drinking you're a lot right. of malt liquor. Uh, more so in the past year than I have in the previous, I don't know, seven. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Since I was born. No, because, like, uh, you know, there's a burned dairy down the street, and they carry OE, and I just got in this <laughs> kick for, like, a week. I was like... I want all the OE I can get. I need it. Um, and then we had uh, Warhorse Brewing located at Geneva, <laughs> New York, and they are a craft brewery, and they made some malt liquor fight pony. It's freaking amazing. But dude, it really is. This is um, this is pretty Jenny's good. malt liquor. Um, why have I not tried this? This is the first time I even remember seeing it. Who is this for? I I want to say it's like we said in the fight pony review. It's the, hey, remember malt liquor? Remember yeah. getting it in the bag? Like, probably people our age. I'll tell you what. This is a weighty beer. Yeah, it's very heavy. Um, You you feel, like it's an 8% ABV, but it is a heavy 8% ABV. It's syrupy, kind of chewy, almost. You get that malt liquor feel to it. I think you get some sweet fruit notes to it I, I get some grape like yeah, that's a grape jelly in there oh yeah um like a deep jam jelly yeah yeah uh it's still a bready aspect to it but it, man it's gravity is right this is a heavy beer um apparently they brew this all year from what i i just looked up before <laughs> reviewing this if we never, have we just walked by it or i don't know i don't, I don't, know. I don't know i have pay attention i mean um, uh, there <clears throat> i'll tell you in my house my personal beer fridge. Yes. There's two brands that are 
always in my fridge, mm. no matter what. Okay. Even if I'm down to my last two beers. <laughs> right. <laughs> Other half brewing company. Yep. Because they get the IPA fix. Yes. Um, and yeah, I'm sorry if I alienated anyone. I'm sorry. That's a fix. <laughs> um, basketball diaries. Uh, <laughs> wow. Um, and Jenny. And Jenny. There's a Jenny product. Like in my fridge right now, I have Jenny Oktoberfest, and I have uh, Jenny Light. Yeah. But um, I always have it. It's cheap. Dirt cheap. So, the, the War Horse, the Fight Pony, was in a slightly larger can, not a deuce like this. Would you drink more malt liquor if it was in, let's say, a 12-ounce can? Like, a, let's say it's a four-pack of 12-ounce cans of malt liquor. No, because I would not drink a 12-pack of Steel Reserve. <laughs> Steel Reserve. No, that comes for me, us. for me, um, this kind of style of beer, the high-gravity lagers, malt liquors, for me... This is like, I drink, I grab two of them, right. and I, I pound them, and I'm good. That's what they're there for, for me. Okay. Like, I could grab a couple of these to watch afternoon football with. Sure. Or if I'm going to a, a barbecue or a hangout, bring a couple of these with me, and that's what I'm sipping on. All right. Right? Because it's, the higher ABV to me, it lasts longer, mm -hmm. and instead of drinking... Six light beers. I can drink two of these. Um, but it's all it's and it, it, I love in craft beer. It's not all that high in ABV. That's an average yeah, ABV. Yeah, eight percent. Yeah. And, and so here's here's why. Wow, yes. we're ABV snobs. Eight percent. That's not big. You give this to a normal person where that isn't so, psycho okay. like us. So that's what that's why I wanted to circle back around now because your initial question, who is this for? So is it for older fellas? Older folks like us who know what you're getting into when you're buying a malt liquor. What about, and I'm thinking, all right, are younger beer drinkers like, oh boy, that's a big can of 8%. I wish it was in a smaller vessel, you know, sort I, of thing. I think it's the opposite. I think the, I think young college kids, uh -huh. oh, 8%, a couple bucks, I'm down. Is, is it still a thing? Is that still a thing? Like, is that just a rite of passage like, doesn't matter what decade it is, what generation it is. It's just like, oh, man, 8%. Yeah. Malt liquor beers, I'm getting it. See, I personally like this because I, I like the sweetness. Yeah. I'll tell you what, I kind of like the weight behind it because it you're not... That fruity note is quite pleasant, actually. I'm not crushing it as fast like I want to. Like, those fight points are freaking hammered. This is weighty. But you it, can yeah. sip it. Like, you almost like... Because this is two servings of beverage. <laughs> You drink the first one, and then when you're sipping on the rest of it, you're almost drinking it slower. I don't know. Maybe I'm the only one, but... I think, honestly, I think this is probably one of the sexiest labels they have. Oh, it's a good-looking label. It is. I mean, don't, uh, don't, don't get me wrong. The the OG, because we, right here, we got oh, the yeah. Jenny, you know. Uh, off in the distance, you can't see it, but I got a yeah. badass cooler. It's uh, the hat. The hat was... Yeah, I got the badass hat. hat, too. Jenny makes... They have some good-looking labels. Jenny, I'm shilling for you. That's true. That's <laughs> the point of this whole thing. Anyway, uh, what do you rate it? Um, I mean, I guess we don't have really malt liquor. It's good. <laughs> for a high gravity lager, I don't have much to base it on. <laughs> like, I'll give this like a a four three. Okay. For a, out of out of high gravity lager, sure scales. Yep. Just high gravity lagers. Yeah, I'm, I'm at a four. I'm uh, curious to what people like give this. If yeah, I, if if you had this, or even if you like high gravity lagers, like let us know. Uh, is there something else we should seek out? Like at this point, my bar is the warhorse. So you're definitely one and done after this, or two. You can't pay, you can't pound these all day long. I think no. it would get too sweet and stuff. Yeah, I think the sweetness would. That, see, that's where your yeah. jelly lights come into play. Or your cream ales are. Yep. Yep. You gotta balance. You know what this is? This is like almost. It's like the higher ABV cream ale because the cream ale is all absolutely all sweet, right. Uh, I knew it's like the double the double like, version, yes, double cream ale, bitches. <laughs> they couldn't just put double cream ale on there. No, <laughs> double cream ale, bitches. <laughs> yeah, double cream ale, bitches. <laughs> Drink it. Oh uh, yeah, another Jenny beer. It's good. Yep. Very serviceable. There we go. Alright. Thanks for watching everybody. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs>